My name is Josephine, the mom of Artisan Gift Collection. Today, I would like to introduce to you the first video of a series. Yes, a series and this is all about the good, the bad, and the great things about soap making. You see, I started making soaps as a hobby two years ago. I was inspired by my sister, the owner of Mystic Dragonfly, homemade beauty products from California. However, after a few batches, I stopped. That means I was not able to move up from my newbie status. But right now, I have decided that I am going to do some refreshers and upgrade my skills. So I would like to invite all of you to join me in this journey. Let us learn and have fun together as we awaken the soap making diva within us. Let's get started. All right, let's begin by understanding how soap is made. So soap is a fatty acid salt that is produced when lye solution is mixed with animal fat or vegetable oil at the right proportions. And this chemical reaction is called saponification. But because we wanted more from soap, we put in additives to get the characteristics that we like. We add in scent and colorant and other stuff like, you know, sheet butter for extra moisturizing property, um, oatmeal for exfoliation, and more. That's why soap making is so fun and exciting. We can be very creative in designing how we want our soap to be. Moving on, um, there are three basic soap making methodologies the first one is melt and pour and this is the simplest it makes use of a soap base which is already saponified that means we don't need to handle lye solution just yet we just need to melt the soap base in the microwave put in the additives that we like and then pour the mixture in the mold and that is what we are going to do for this project we are making honey lemon melt and pour soap that is 100 percent natural this is a cleansing and energizing soap that smells so delicious for the materials, of course, we need a clear melt and pour soap base, which comes in big blocks like this. And we need to cut them into smaller pieces using a crinkle cutter or a regular knife. And of course, we need a heat safe container or anything microwavable because we need to use them to melt our soap base. We also need a digital scale to weigh our soap base and our essential oils. Of course, we need essential oils and we will be using peppermint essential oil and then lemon, which has, you know, very, very good cleansing and um, energizing property. And let's see a cubeba. This Essential oil is said to fix the scent of any citrus essential oil in the blend. But truly, this one will give the musky scent. Then tea tree. Tea tree is good for, you know, irritated skin. And then sandalwood will give the woodsy component of our blend. For the colorant, we will be using annatto seeds, or in Tagalog, it's atsuete. We will infuse it in jojoba oil. And jojoba is good moisturizing oil, which is non-comedogenic. We'll be using 
you know, tablespoon and this cutie cutie um, container to put our essential oil in. We would also need a gun thermometer or any other type of thermometer will do. And then some spatula. We would also need a loaf mold. The crinkle cutter will be used to cut our finished product later. And then isopropyl alcohol, that's what's inside that bottle that will be used to burst any bubbles forming on the surface of our soap. And of course, this won't be a honey lemon bar without the honey. So we're going to use pure and natural and unpasteurized honey. Let's start working with our soap base. Cut them into smaller pieces like this and then weigh 450 grams or a pound. We will um, microwave them in 30 second bursts until fully melted. We will set this aside as we prepare our other ingredients. The next thing to do is to weigh our essential oils. We will use weight instead of volume because considering the lower density of essential oils. Now let us uh, infuse our annatto seeds in jojoba oil. One tablespoon of annatto seeds and one tablespoon of jojoba oil. It's just one is to one. And it's enough to uh, give the color that we want in a one pound soap. I decided to add lemon zest in our soap um, because why not this is a honey lemon soap and um, we just want to maximize the benefits that you can get from lemon and lemon zest is a great natural exfoliant let's sprinkle a few bits at the bottom of our loaf after the first 30 seconds the pieces are just starting to melt so Put it back in the microwave for another 30 seconds. Looks like most of the pieces are melted, but there are still lots of chunks, so back in the microwave. And now, looks like our soap base is fully melted. We can continue stirring to lower the temperature. We can now add in our colorant. You can see how the color transforms to a golden yellow. And then our honey. Only one tablespoon of honey per pound of soap base. A add the uh, essential oil when the temperature is about 50 degrees Celsius or about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we can also um, add a, a little bit of lemon zest in the mixture because obviously we want that all over our soap. Then now we're ready to pour. And more lemon zest then the isopropyl alcohol to burst the bubbles. The one I'm using is 80%. Set this aside for at least two hours. Now, the big reveal. This is our finished product. Just pull the sides to release the airlock. 
I waited two hours for this, but if it's a bigger bar, you sh we should wait for at least four hours. It's time to cut. Let's cut the, uh, the ends with a crinkle cutter, but this is not necessary. It's just my preference. We can make four smaller bars out of this loaf and I'm just eyeballing it. It's just for home use anyway. They don't just smell delicious. They also look so stunning as they glisten. The golden yellow color, the natural sparkle, and the 100% natural ingredients made this soap a winner. Now for packaging and storage, it is recommended that we wrap our melt and pour soap in plastic to prevent them from sweating. You see, the glycerin in our soap base attracts moisture in the air. The plastic will then prevent the moisture from getting into our soap. There you have it, our honey lemon melt and pour soap made from 100% natural ingredients. See you in the next one!